Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with our first break of 2018 Bowman High Tech Baseball. It came out yesterday. We were doing football yesterday. Today feels like the baseball day. So this is Pick Your Team 1 from jazbeeshobbyland.com with $30 of break credit given, being given away at the end. So nice. Full case, 12 box break. Pick Your Team number 1 on a Thursday, Thursday the 13th. Thanks for joining us. No Astros in this set, so we didn't sell them, obviously. David No getting the Angels in a spot randomizer, so he got them for a fraction of the price. Jeremy Terrell, JT, with the Yankees. Last spot mojo, so good luck to everybody. No Rangers in the set either. All right, now I'm sure there's a lot of... Uh, I think everything ships, right? Yeah, all cards ship because there's so many wacky short prints and variations and stuff that high tech usually delivers. It's easier for us to just send everything. I mean, I guess everything is technically a variation, so you can investigate. Uh, I think I think Beckett or CardboardConnection.com generally does a pretty good job at uh, telling you what all the different levels of the short prints are and everything. So some additional treasure hunting there. So do your research. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six box on the left side, six on the right side, 12. There's high-tech baseball right there. We're looking for this guy, Brandon McKay, who could be a two-way player like Otani. And then, of course, Ahmed Rosario is already in the action. All right, good luck, everyone. I always enjoy the way high tech looks. See these might be I haven't I haven't really looked all the different variations up, but nice Reese Hoskins. There you go. Pyrotechnics. Is that numbered? Oh there it is. Bottom left hand corner right there. 85 out of 99 on this one. That goes to the Phillies. Ken with the Phillies. And then we've got Christian Pash. Nice one for the Braves. Darren McKenzie. I think one of the Braves is higher end prospects, upper tier prospects. And then there's, oh, there's, we got four autographs. We got a bunch of autographs in there. We got Mitchell White for the Dodgers. He's had a nice season at double A in Tulsa with TJ. That goes to Eric Leal and my Dodgers. We got Adbert Alzale for the Cubs, top pitching prospect for the Cubbies. Greg with that one. I think we might see him in the next year or so. And this is a big one right here. Brandon McKay, 51 out of 75. He should, he should magnify that autograph a little bit, Brendan. Feel free to use the canvas, my friend. That goes to the Rays. That goes to Paul Cool Whit. This is one of the Rays' top prospects who could very, very well be a two-way player in baseball. And got a nice Austin Beck here as well. I like that, that blue parallel that's going on here. 10 out of 75. That goes to David Kist and the A's. Nice start. All right, next box. That blue guy, what's that blue parallel? Ocean blue title is what they call it. Nice. Ooh, Brandon McKay? I think so. I want to say yes, he had a good season. There's Mackenzie Gore. Adam Hazley. Jesus Sanchez. Jesus Sanchez again to 99 for the Tampa Bay Rays. And your autos. And a redemption. Adam Hazley for the Phillies. That goes to Ken and the Fightin' Phils. 
We've got Evan White for the Mariners. That'll be for Jimmy Brandt in the Seattle Mariners. And your redemption is high-tech autograph Ronald Acuna. Nice. That'll be for the Braves. DMAC with the Braves. That is strong. Brent Rooker, gold, third, three out of 50. That card is gold. That goes to the Twins. That'll be for Paul Cool Whit. There's Daniel Johnson, green rainbow, 41 out of 50. 99. Where did I get 50? Can't read, folks. I've lost the ability to read numbers. And. This probably goes for a million dollars. Shohei Otani, rookie card. For the Angels, that'll be for David No, who got the Angels in a spot randomizer. Nice. I'm sure there's different uh, variations of this. That'll probably, and, and I'm sure the short prints will go for a hefty amount. I think Otani's been hitting the ball. Really well. All right, there's Acuna, Luis Robert, Reese Hoskins. Let's stack these cards here. And a nice Victor Robles. Six out of ten. Red Orbit Diffractor for Courtney Bishop and the Nats. Nice, that's a nice hit. An outfield of Victor Robles and Juan Soto might be saying Bryce Harper who next season. Kybert Ruiz, big Dodgers catching prospect. He can hit and he can catch. Double A, we should see him in a couple years, I think. Eric Leal with my Dodgers, along with Mitchell White. That's another big prospect for the Dodgers too. For the Red Legs, we have Shed Long. It'll go to Rich and the Reds. And for the Tigers, we got Alex Fiedo. Alex going to Detroit. That'll be for Joe Ivers. There's another Brendan McKay. Yeah, they even say first baseman pitcher. Now I'm curious. John Oakery was asking how Brendan McKay did this season. Now, now I'm curious. Uh, Tampa Bay Rays, another one for Paul Cool Whit. I know the minor league season just ended. He split time between rookie ball, went to A, and went to high A. And he played the most games in high A. 210 average, five home runs, 21 RBIs. How did he do pitching wise? He spent the most time in high A. Three twenty get uh, nine games started, three twenty one ERA, fifty four strikeouts and forty seven innings. That's pretty good. Not bad. Kid's only twenty two years old. I think we'll see him probably double A next year, maybe not some time in triple A the following year. So we might see him in a couple of years. There's D. L. Hall. Two out of twenty five. That's the orange. Uh, Magma, which I really like too. Jimmy Brandt with the O's. Oh, there you go. John Oakley has got some more stats for us too. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to to really another nice area. It's hard to really um, kind of judge minor league players just based on stats alone. Because there's so many so many adjustments that happen from level to level. But I wish I could see some video of him. Saw, if saw some video of him, that might. That's a little more effective than, than stats because you don't know what they have them have them working on. Maybe it's, you know, but if he, can, if he puts it all together, that could be another Otani type character. Death Stalker, um, yes. Uh, why is why are the Angels so expensive? It's because of explain to you in football terms. Well, it's because of Shohei Otani, who's a big rookie. It's like uh, 
It's like Patrick Mahomes and Kareem Hunt rolled into one. That must be a short print of Hunter Green. That's another, uh, well, he started as a two-way player, but we met him at the Topps Industry Conference. A Topps Industry Conference back in uh, back in the spring, and he said he, he, said he thinks the Reds are going to probably put him, push him away from pitching. Avondel Isabel, or push him away from uh, playing shortstop and move him over to being a pitcher. But he could be like Anthony Discofani. He can pitch and hit. I don't know much about this guy. Avondel Isabel for the, for the Dodgers. There's Jeter Downs for the Reds. So another one for Rich. He's got the Hunter Green short print. He's got the Jeter Downs autograph. And we've got another auto. For the Nationals, Daniel Johnson for Courtney. Nice. And the Nats. And another nice Kyber Ruiz, 65 out of 99. That's for Eric and my Dodgers. That is strong. In the uh, in that tech material, but that Bowman design. And there is Indians edition. Francisco Mejia, sixty out of seventy-five. Ocean blue title. I like that. What that's such a refreshing, a refreshing parallel. This goes to the Indians. TJ with the tribe, although he's in San Diego now. They called him up. He's hitting okay. All right, next box. All right, more Victor Robles, Nick Prado, and Franklin Perez, Jorge Mateo. And your autograph is, there's Tristan Lutz for the Brew Crew. Is he still on the Brewers, John? Thought he got maybe got traded in some, some some sort of deal. Maybe he still is there. Maybe he's still there. There's Jesus Sanchez for the Rays. Brew crew, Jerry Bennington. Rays, another another one for Paul Cool Whit. Shane Boz, one of the upper tier pitching prospects for the Pirates. That'll be for Robert Rohr. There you go, Rob. And another Jesus Sanchez, this time a parallel. 002 out of 150 on that one. Purple Rainbow is what they call this one. For the Rays. And another Ray. Nice Brandon McKay. 188 out of 190, 191. That's kind of a random number. Ah, that's what I thought, Robert. So Tristan Lutz was traded to the Rays. Well, that'll still go to the Brewers, but... Did Shane Boz also go to Tampa? Was that in the Archer deal? That must have been for the Archer deal, right? Right, Ash? Alicia? Michael Baez. <laughs> I'll bet the top Tops and Bowman were just like, oh, come on, don't trade those guys. We just finished production on this. Oh, so it was it was the Archer deal. Gotcha. Although these guys will still go to the teams that they're printed on right here. I think Ryan Vallad is still a Rocky. I think he's still there. That goes to Anthony Alvarez. You know, the Rockies actually have a lot of like top prospects, top infield prospects in their organization. They could absorb the loss of Nolan Arenado, you know, DJ LeMahieu, Trevor Story. There's Luis Robert, White Sox. That goes to Darren McKenzie. I know he was a top tier prospect. I think when Bowman, Bowman draft was out, he was a redemption. Even his redemptions were going for a lot. More Kybert Ruiz, Dodgers. It's more for Eric Leal. Another Victor Robles for Courtney Bishop. This one's a purple rainbow out of 150. 
We got Jordan Hicks to 191. That's for the Cardinal. Cardinals actually playing my Dodgers. What's happening in that game? Oh, a commercial break is in progress. I think the Dodgers are leading by a few runs. Keep keep it up, Dodgers. Eight to one, more than a few runs. That goes to the Redbirds. That'll be for Courtney Bishop. More about this guy if we see some stuff from him. All right, second half. Not too many games today. Today's a Thursday. Rockies beat the Diamondbacks ten to three. Rockies are playing hot baseball. I thought it was gonna be my Dodgers and uh, and the Rock or and the Diamondbacks battling for the division, but DL Hall, Jordan Hicks, Mackenzie Gore. We gotta wait for the right moment, Joe P. For the show, Jaron Kendall, sixty one out of ninety nine. That goes to the Dodgers. Another another big prospect for the Dodgers. Dodgers have a rich farm system. We got Helio Ramos. A lot of people thought that he would be on the move uh, in that Longoria or the McCutcheon trade, but they managed not to not to do that. It's one of the Giants' top prospects. That goes to Craig Tristan Lutz. There he is again for the Brew Crew. Jerry Bennington. And another Ryan Vallad. And we've got future future Paul Goldschmidt, Paven Smith. It's, it's, what's Paul Goldschmidt's contract status? Is he locked up by the Diamondbacks? Where will Paven Smith play? That goes to John Alfie's and the Diamondbacks. Then we've got a gold, Daniel Johnson, 23, Jordan, out of 50 for Courtney. Joe P. Joe P. is a Diamondbacks fan, as you guys know. Uh, how do you feel about I feel about Paven Smith? How do you do this year? I'm not sure what what level he is at right now, but I know he's he's ranked probably in the top ten. Death Stalker, Sock and Death, uh, is asking, "Do you like to open cards anymore? Considering this is your job, do you collect a lot?" I do like opening cards, but I this definitely kind of feeds that or scratches that itch. So I, I don't really buy as much anymore. There's Otani. Good question, though. People always ask, "Do you collect?" It's like, well, not 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 significantly anymore, I, because I get to I get to see this every day. So that's it. Scratches that itch. That goes to David No. At Jorge Mateo must be a shorter print there. Yeah, he's definitely a top. Paven Smith definitely top ten in the Diamondbacks organization. Is Paul Goldschmidt a free agent? When? Soon. Corbin Burns. That's another one for the Brew Crew. That'll be for Jerry Bennington. There's Brent Rooker for the Twins. That'll be for Paul Coolwit. Ah, there he is. Colton Welker for the Rockies. Anthony Alvarez with that one. A little controversy around this guy, ladies and gentlemen. That was what I've been hearing. That's the buzz around town. Look it up. Apparently a lot of his autographs look very different. There's Jaron Kendall out of 150. You'll see, you'll, you'll see that some like the parallels apparently have different looking, very different looking autographs. Now the full story is not out yet, but you can draw your own conclusions there. Ninety-two out of ninety-nine, Keston Hiuda for the Brewers, another big prospect for the Brewers. He is um, he's from Southern California. He was born and raised in Southern California. Went to UC Irvine, I think. Not exactly a baseball powerhouse. <laughs> But there you go. All right, so that goes to the Brewers as well, one of their top prospects. The nice Jaron Kendall purple rainbow going to Eric Leal and the Dodgers. All right, Goldie's a free agent in 2020, so maybe Paven Smith 
Maybe they're trying to anticipate being unable to pay Goldschmidt. All right. Isabel, White, Rosario. Albius could be your rookie of the year this year. Jorge Guzman. That's kind of a cool auto. I kind of like that. Marlins, Jacob with the Marlins. There's Royce Lewis, who was a number one overall pick a year or two ago for the Twins. That's a good one. Paul Cool Whit with that. More Jaron Kendall. And look at that. Ocean Blue title refractor. It's Glaber Day. 55 out of 75. Glaber Day for Jeremy Terrell and the Yankees' last spot mojo. He could also be a... Uh, he could also be a... Rookie of the Year candidate there. And there's Cito Sanchez at a 191 for the Phillies. Ken with that one. Joe P saying, this is on the record, folks. Joe P is saying, this is 5.55 p.m. Los Angeles time, Thursday, September 13th, 2018. Joe P says, if they don't re-sign, if the Arizona Diamondbacks organization does not sign Goldschmidt, if they don't re-sign Goldschmidt when he's a free agent in 2020, he'll become a Dodgers fan. No, that's good. That's good, Joe P. Because uh, because he'll probably be a Dodger. <laughs> he'll probably be the Dodger. Ah, uh, Arthur, another Diamondbacks fan, saying not possible, Joe P. Then Joe P. is like, all right, who am I kidding? All right, there's Shed Long. For Rich and the Reds. And ladies and gentlemen, we, we've got another full case break of this with the Angels already sold out on jazpieshobbyland.com so we can run this back. There's Alex Fayedo for the Tigers. That'll be for Joe Ivers. Another Brendan McKay. Nice Brendan McKay. That goes to Paul Cool Whit. I don't think the checklist is very big, folks. That's why you're going to see a decent number of repeats. Jake Berger. Mmm, Burgers. 15 out of 99. I think Jake Berger had some sort of... I think he was doing well in the White Sox. Or I think he had some sort of season-ending injury, if I'm not mistaken. D-Mac, Darren McKenzie with that one. Nice green rainbow. And more Paven Smith. Future Paul Goldschmidt right here. 140 out of 191. And there's Clint Frazier as well. All right, two boxes to go. Good luck, everyone. Must be another shorter print here. And we got Michael Baez for the Padres. That'll go to John Alfie's and the Padres. Padres have a sneaky good farm system as well. Cito Sanchez for the Phillies for Ken and the Fight and Phils. We got Franklin Perez for the Tigers. Another one, another Tiger for Joe Ivers. And a nice Austin Beck, green rainbow, 20 out of 99 for David Kist and the A's. Nice Austin Beck for the amazing A's. There's Alex Verdugo out of 191. He's getting some time with the Dodgers. Did Kershaw just give up a home run? Come on, Kersh. I think it's just a solo shot, though. That's okay. Tyson Ross with a solo shot off of Kersh. Okay, it's just 8-2 Dodgers now. I'm fine. No need to panic yet. All right, last box, and then $30 of break credit. Good luck, everyone. Very solid break. We've got two more teams, I think, still left in the next full case break. 
So take a look at that, and let's let's rock through another case of baseball, and then we have a ch more chances to kind of talk, discuss baseball. Joe Adele, one of the bigger names, probably one the biggest name in the Angels organization, the farm system anyway. D.L. Hall, kind of the only name. Angels farm system is a little weak. D.L. Hall for Jimmy Brandt and the Orioles. Uh, is Andres Jimenez working on his auto? Look at that, folks. Looks a lot better <laughs> than what we saw in Bowman draft earlier this year. That's for the Mets. That's for Joe Ivers. It says if he took that other autograph, stretched it out a little bit, and now we're like, oh, I see what he was trying to do. All right, there's Jake Berger again for the White Sox. That'll be for D-Mac, Darren McKenzie. And we've got a nice orange, 8 out of 25, Michael Baez for the Padres for John Alfies. And then Adam Hazley. Out of 191, Purple Rainbow, and Evan White for the Mariners to close things out. And there you have it, boys and girls. Nice break. A lot of nice stuff in there. Good, Nice to talk a little baseball. Let's give away some money. Money, 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 money. Everyone has a shot at 30 bucks of break credit, except for the triple X's. They don't, they don't get a shot. They don't deserve 30 bucks of break credit. All right, there you go. There's everyone's names right there. Let's roll the dice. Winner take all. After 10 times, five and a five. It is winner take all, right? Oh, you have to buy two or more teams in this case? All right, so only Courtney qualifies, and Darren. I see, I see it, Amber. I was like, I better check. I felt I was like, I had a feeling in the back of my head that there was some quali qualifier to this. Still doesn't count triple X. So it's just Courtney with two. D Mac got two teams. G Lo only got one. Greg got two teams. Jimmy Brandt got two teams. John got two teams. Joe Ivers got two teams. Paul Cool Whit did. And that's how the odds are even better for you guys and girls. Oh, man. Only seven names on this list? What great odds to get 30 bucks of break credit. Uh, that was from the on a different break. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize that nine times. Five and a four. Close. One. Name on top gets it. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Five and a four, nine times. Name on top, Courtney Bishop. There you go. The Bishop girls with 30 bucks of break credit burning a hole in your pocket. You know, we'll send that. I'll send that right after this. Thanks, everybody. We've got another case in the store, another 30 bucks to give away if you buy at least two teams. Two teams. So get that going. And we'll see you next time on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Bye-bye.